Hello everyone, it must be hard for you to imagine that there are currently up to 20 million Americans suffering from kidney disease. In China, there are no statistics, but perhaps it is a number worth considering. Contemplate kidney disease. Very dangerous when the kidney itself has problems, it also has negative effects on the heart, bones, immune system, and even your brain. Of course, it can lead to kidney failure requiring dialysis or a kidney transplant to survive. However, did you know that there are things you are doing every day that are silently destroying your kidneys? So, if you don't want to have to stay in the hospital one day for a blood transfusion or hemodialysis, let's see what actions are destroying the kidneys and we must avoid them immediately. Right now will be 10 daily habits that silently destroy the kidneys and how to stop them before it's too late. First of all, do you know that using painkillers is very dangerous? Many people use over-the-counter pain relievers such as ibuprofen and acetaminophen to relieve pain. But these medicines can seriously harm your kidneys, especially if you have kidney disease and take them in high doses. Ibuprofen can reduce blood flow to the kidneys and cause inflammation and tissue scarring. Kidneys and acetaminophen and aspirin can harm your kidneys if you use them too often or in large doses. So how should we change? Basically, take as little pain medication as possible and never exceed the recommended dosage. If you have chronic pain, talk to your doctor to find ways to reduce pain other measures to deal with pain. For example, if you use physical therapy, acupuncture, or meditation, if you have a dull pain and constantly use painkillers, even if you have 10 kidneys, you won't be able to handle it. The second is not drinking enough water. You already know that water is important for your overall health, including kidney health. Water helps remove waste from your body and keeps your kidneys working properly. So how much water do you need to drink per day? There is no exact answer to this question. Careful analysis of studies shows that each person's water drinking needs are different and it is not fixed that the amount of water needed each day will vary depending on age, gender, activity level, and other factors. In general, don't let yourself get thirsty and don't drink too much. Make sure you drink enough water and pay attention to the color of your urine. Your urine should be light yellow or clear. If your urine is dark yellow or orange, it shows a sign that you are dehydrated. Third, you hold your urine too much. Have you ever held your urine when you were busy or didn't have a bathroom nearby? If you did, you're putting your kidneys at risk. Because when you ignore the need to urinate, you are letting urine stay longer in the bladder. This can cause bacteria to grow and lead to a urinary tract infection, which can be very painful and uncomfortable. If not treated, they can spread to the kidneys and cause serious damage, so try not to hold in urine too much because it is very dangerous. Be careful not to hold urine for more than four hours and try to empty it. Complete bladder. Fourth is insomnia. Sleep is essential for your health and happiness. But did you know that sleep also seriously affects kidney health? The answer is very much yes. Your kidneys follow a natural 24-hour circadian rhythm that regulates their functioning. When you sleep, your kidneys reduce the amount of work and rest. When you wake up, your kidneys resume normal function and filter more blood. This cycle helps the kidneys maintain kidney efficiency and balance. Research shows that people who sleep less than five hours a day are up to 65% more likely to develop kidney disease than those who sleep seven to eight hours a night. Another study found that people who sleep more than 9 a.m. also have a higher risk of kidney disease. So this result shows that sleeping too much and sleeping too little can both harm the kidneys. So how much sleep do you need? The recommended amount of sleep for all adults is between 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock every night. However, each person's needs are different. If you feel tired during the day, you may need to sleep more and to have quality sleep, 
Do the following, go to bed regularly at the same time and avoid drinking drinks that cause insomnia. Like coffee regular exercise. If you're still having trouble sleeping, take out a book to read and make sure that after five minutes you're sleeping like a piglet. The next thing is that eating too much red meat is not good for your kidneys. Red meat is an excellent source of protein but it is also high in saturated fat and cholesterol. Saturated fats can increase your risk of heart disease, diabetes, and kidney disease. High cholesterol can also contribute to kidney disease. So how much red meat is enough? According to the American Heart Foundation, you should eat 2.4 kilograms of lean red meat per week. That's an average of about 3 ounces of meat per day, which is for Americans. To reduce the amount of red meat in your diet and still get enough nutrients, it's simple, you just need to replace it with fish, poultry, beans, or nuts. Sixth, you eat too much salt. Surely everyone knows that salt is very important for the body. It helps maintain fluid balance and keep nerve and muscle function stable, but eating too much salt can harm your kidneys. Sodium salt, which can increase blood pressure and make your kidneys work harder to remove excess fluid and sodium from your body. High blood pressure can damage small blood vessels in the kidneys and reduce blood pressure. Kidneys' ability to filter blood. So how much salt is too much? According to the American Heart Association, you should limit your salt intake to no more than 2,300 megagrams per day, equivalent to about one teaspoon of salt. But most people eat more than this, mainly from sodium-rich processed foods, canned foods, frozen foods, snacks, and seasonings. So to reduce salt, try to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. Cook your own food using herbs and spices instead of salt. Read nutrition labels carefully when buying packaged foods. Next, don't eat too much processed food. Because as mentioned above, processed foods often contain a lot of sodium. There is also a lot of sugar, saturated fat, and cholesterol. These nutrients may increase your risk of heart disease, diabetes, and kidney disease. So to reduce the consumption of ready-made foods, you should try to cook for yourself. When you cook for yourself, you can control the amount of sodium, sugar, saturated fat, and cholesterol in your food. The eighth is laziness, a habit that almost everyone has faced. Exercise is important for overall health and kidney health. Likewise, exercise helps control blood pressure, lose weight, and improve heart health. All of these can protect your kidneys. The U.S. Department of Health guidelines recommend that adults exercise at least 150 minutes per week at moderate intensity, meaning you should spend at least 25 minutes exercising every day. There are some super easy and super effective exercise methods, walking and jogging. These subjects not only help you exercise your body but are also very relaxing. You don't need to put in a lot of effort, especially while you're there. You also have the opportunity to meet beautiful girls and find a future wife. Ninth, this is not said. Everyone knows that it is smoking. Smoking is one of the most harmful habits for health. Smoking increases the risk of many diseases, including kidney disease. Smoking damages your blood vessels, including the blood vessels in your kidneys, which reduces the kidneys' ability to filter blood and leads to kidney damage. Research shows that smokers are 5% more likely to develop kidney disease than non-smokers. If you smoke, quit as soon as possible. Quitting smoking can help you reduce your risk of kidney disease and improve your overall health. Finally, drink a lot of alcohol. Needless to say, you also know that drinking too much alcohol can harm many organs in your body, including your kidneys. Alcohol increases blood pressure and can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys, which reduces their ability to filter blood and leads to damage. So how much alcohol should you drink per day? I will have a specific video talking about the uses and harms of alcohol. 
Then through this video we see that by avoiding bad daily habits that are harmful to the kidneys, you will protect your kidney health and reduce the risk of kidney disease. To make sure your kidneys are okay, take the following steps. Check your blood pressure, check your blood sugar. If you have diabetes, maintain moderate amounts and eat a healthy diet. Fruits, vegetables, and grains exercise regularly, don't smoke, and try to limit alcohol. Hopefully this video has helped you understand your health and from today, please exercise diligently. Please comment below to practice together to show your determination. Thank you. Have you watched the video? Hello and see you soon.